Mr. Heffern, here's a short video on how to calculate um, the speed of light, uh, time, and distance. So let's just scroll down. So here's some of the formulas we'll be using. Uh, distance, speed of light, C, and time. Um, and other videos will be using the other formulas. Okay. The speed of light is approximately 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, or 300 million meters per second. Okay, so here's our first example. Uh, the distance from Las Vegas to Toronto is 3,623 kilometers. If a phone conversation via fiber optic cable with two people is in these two cities, what's the delay when you say something? So if you say hello, you know, how long does it take for uh, it to reach Toronto from Las Vegas? Okay, so here is a map just to give you an idea. So there's Las Vegas all the way to Toronto. 20, that's a 33-hour car drive. Or how many seconds in uh, at the speed of light? Okay, so here's our um, equation to start with. We have uh, our given. Our distance is 3,623 kilometers, but we're going to have to change this to uh, to meters. So if we just multiply by a thousand, that'll be there. We go. That'll be 3,006. Uh, sorry, 3,623,000 meters altogether. So let's just uh, format that so it's easier to read. Okay, and the speed of light, of course, is um, 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Or if you prefer standard notation, that is um, 300 million meters per second. Okay, and I'll just uh, format that to make it more readable too. So you should have a space every three zeros or a comma or in Europe a decimal. Okay. So here's the formula down here. The distance is equal to the speed of light times time. So we're going to make uh, make use of that. Okay, so let's just grab that. So here's the given, and I'm just going to paste the formula next to it over here. Okay, so here's the formula. So we're just going to fill in the formula. Okay, so we've got the distance. The distance is uh, 3,623,000 uh, meters. Okay, and we got the speed of light, which is uh, 300 million meters per second. And we are looking for the time. Now, when you sub in, uh, it looks better if you put things in parentheses. Uh, it's better math grammar if you do this. There we go. Okay. All right. And so now uh, we're just going to isolate the time. So we're just going to cross multiply the 300 million down to the other side. So we're just going to make a fraction, okay, and just cross multiply it over. There we go. And so on a calculator, all we have to do is go uh, 3,623,000 divided by 300 million. And that is going to take a very short amount of time, 0 0.012, if we round it off, um, 0 seconds. So there we go. Okay, which is not a long time at all. Uh, that is going to be, now the first three decimals are your millis. So if you want to convert that to a different time, that is going to be 12 milliseconds. And that's it. Not very much time at all. Uh, the human reaction system wouldn't even notice unless it was like um, a quarter of a second. So most people wouldn't even notice that. Okay. Then there we go. So we got our um, first question done. So 12 milliseconds. Okay. So the delay is going to be 0.012 seconds, okay, or 12 milliseconds for the communication at the speed of light between Las Vegas and Toronto. So if you use a fiber optic cable, it won't take very long, 0.012 seconds for a one-way. So if you say hello, it takes 0.012 seconds to get to Toronto. They say, hey, how are you? And that would take another 0.012 seconds. Yeah, so it's very, it seems instantaneous for the human mind. So let's try uh, another question where we, um, instead of finding time, we find distance. So just scroll down here. So the distance between Earth and Pluto is approximately so vast, it takes a radio signal five hours and 20 minutes to travel the distance. In July 2015, NASA's New Horizons probe became the first spacecraft to visit the dwarf planet Pluto and radio back pictures. How far did these radio signals um, need to travel okay, to uh, reach NASA? 
Okay, so here's the sun, here's the earth, one astronomical unit away. And then um, five hours and 20 minutes later, if you send a radio signal or some light, um, it'll reach Pluto. And here's the uh, Horizon spacecraft. Okay, so we're just going to find out how long it takes, sorry, uh, how far it is between the Earth and Pluto. Okay, so let's just fill this in first. So um, it's 5 hours and 20 minutes. So if we do uh, 5 times um, 60 minutes times 60 seconds, uh, we will get the 5 hours converted into seconds. And then uh, if we add the 20 minutes times the 60 seconds, uh, we will get the minutes into seconds. So that's all we have to do on the calculator. So now 60 times 60 is 3,600. So if we do uh, 3,600 times 5, that's 18,000 seconds, plus uh, 20 times 60, and we get 19,200 seconds altogether. So to send a radio signal is approximately 19,200 seconds okay, to get uh, from Pluto to the Earth. Yeah, approximately. The speed of light, of course, is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And we are looking for the distance, and we'd like to get that in kilometers eventually. Okay. All right, so we've got our given figured out. Uh, so what we're going to do now is uh, solve the equation. Okay, so we're going to use the equation, d equals uh, ct. And we know the time. It's 19,200 seconds. So we're just going to stick that in for the uh, for the time. Okay, so let's see. Let's just fill this in. So that's going to be the 19,200 seconds. Okay. And let's put those in brackets. The speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So let's grab that. Put it in for the speed of light. There we go. Oops. There we go. Let's try that again. And I'll stick that in brackets to show that we uh, subbed it in. There we go. And now on a calculator, we're just going to do uh, 3 times 10 to the 8 times 19,200. And we're going to get, uh, in scientific notation, we're going to get how many meters it is to get uh, to Pluto approximately. So that's going to be... Three, that's going to be 5.76 times 10 to the 12 meters. Okay, so basically that's, um, remember 10 to the 12 is a trillion, so that's going to be trillions of meters. Okay, so now we're just going to find our uh, distance in kilometers. Okay, so um, there's a thousand meters in a kilometer, so if we divide the meters by a thousand, uh, basically, we're going to get down 10 to the 9 in kilometers. Okay, so that's going to be uh, billions of kilometers. Now, if you prefer standard notation, you can do that. It doesn't matter, really. Uh, so that'll be 5 billion, uh, and then it's going to be 760 million kilometers. Okay, let me just fix that formatting there. There we go. Okay, so 5 billion, 760 million kilometers all together in standard notation. And there we go, we got our answer. Okay, so I'll just exit from here. There we go. And let's just change the size a bit. So it's just easier to read. There we go. And let's take that out too. So it just looks a little more readable. There we go. There. Okay, so the distance between Pluto and the Earth is approximately 5.76 billion kilometers, which, uh, if you look it up, that's 38.5 astronomical units. So the Earth's one astronomical unit from the Sun, and then if you do another 38.5 astronomical units, you reach Pluto. So Pluto would be 39.5 astronomical units. So I hope this video helped. Um, I will leave a copy of this um, Microsoft worksheet that I've been using uh, online in the uh, info section so that you can grab it if you need it. All right, good luck. Bye.